Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna check out the wrapper in Mesh Morpher and we're gonna go through all of uh, the options and the possibilities of the wrapper, right? So let's open the wrapper. I'm gonna select any skeletal mesh. And uh, to open the wrapper we need to uh, click on create from mesh and enable wrapper. Now we have uh, our options here, our uh, uh, options that allow, uh, allow us to wrap uh, the meshes. And uh, also we have the control points uh, settings where we can, uh, which we can use to uh, mark uh, certain uh, areas on a skeletal mesh and uh, mark the correspondent uh, of that uh, area as well on the, on the other mesh, right? So if we click on the mesh, let me select also a target. One second, Irene. So uh, if uh, we click on the target mesh, we can also uh, find uh, pick the correspondent uh, control point for this one, and it will have the same color, right? Because uh, the points are color coded based on their index. So if we add another one here. And another one here they will match the colors this way you'll know uh, if uh, you pick uh, correctly the correspondent uh, control point right so we have certain settings here we have iterations so higher uh, value of iterations means most in most cases better results uh this kynn and the uh, affinity threshold uh, you can let it be you can play with uh, with them it Every option here has a tooltip and you can see how it impacts uh, your uh, your wrapping, right? So just spend some time with it. If you don't get proper results, try to fiddle with these options. And for the control point settings, uh, we have similar options, but uh, fewer. So also try to invest uh, some time uh, to experiment uh, the most important here is control point influence if uh, we go to debug edit settings and uh, let me bring this window here we can show the debug uh, for uh, uh, control points and you can see what's their influence radius right so if you play with this you'll see how uh, far it will uh, attempt to uh, pick the vertices uh, from the skeletal mesh, right? So uh, we also have enable bone alignment. This is very, very cool uh, feature. Uh, it allows us uh, to, to match uh, poses. So when we wrap, we will get proper results, right? So we'll spend time with this as well. Uh, it's a very nice, uh, it's a very nice uh, future. Uh, it's uh, it's really cool. I spent a lot of time uh, developing this one. And uh, if uh, you scroll down, you will see that you can pick uh, the bones from this list as well. And if you zoom in here, you can see that if you click here, you can pick the bone. If you click here, you pick this other bone, right? So this is very nice. I think uh, I think uh, I've done a good job with this. Hopefully, it will help you get the uh, proper results. And uh, if uh, you scroll even down, you get uh, the list for the source uh, skeletal mesh, right? So if you pick here, you can. The, the source skeletal mesh has only one bone, so it's fine. Uh, what else? Let me see what else. Uh, these are uh, smoothing iterations and smooth strength. Uh, it's used by the control points as well. And it's also used when uh, when uh, uh, Mesh Morpher will provide you the final result, it will smooth it, right? So this is also very important if you want to play with it. If you have uh, difficulties uh, with the performance on uh, on your desktop, you can disable drop bones. This eats a lot of uh, resources. So if you have a weak computer, just disable drop bones and use uh, the bones from this list. 
what else uh, i think uh, this uh, is uh, oh you can also change uh, the transformation of a bone by uh, changing the values here so if i put here 15 it will move it right this is also useful when you can't uh, uh, find uh, an uh, accurate position using your mouse you can uh, fine tune it fine tune it uh, using these uh, fields here so i want to also uh, tell you how control points work so when when you pick uh, a control point you have to disable enable bone alignment if you keep uh, this enabled you won't be able to pick control points so disable it so now if uh, we pick a control point uh, the way it works uh, it grabs all the vertices in this uh, radius and all the vertices in the source uh, skeletal mesh in the same radius it will center them it, it will uh, center the vertices so it will match uh, the source uh, uh, center and then it will attempt to rigid fit it will attempt to match as a whole not individually with this right so uh, this is how it works uh, after uh, all our control points have been processed then uh, the result uh, is smoothed right after the result is smoothed it goes uh, further with the non-rigid fitting right so this is how it works for uh, for people that are interested, uh, this is how it works in uh, Mesh Morpher. So you can also hide uh, show reference meshes. This also provides an extra performance in editor, so you can disable this. Um, what else? El sticky ratio and elastic ratio. Uh, higher value of sticky ratio will move all vertices uh, together so a higher value means uh, less impact uh, same goes uh, with the elastic ratio but uh, it's a little bit more permissive so the vertices won't uh, move right together right so this is how it works you can also subdivide uh, the mesh if you, you set uh, like one two three whatever steps each and every subdivision it will run again 200 iterations in our case right so this is gonna eat a lot of time if you put a lot of uh, steps here i think one two at maximum is fine so yeah uh, smooth neighbors uh, how it works the smoothing when uh, you uh, wrap the non-rigid uh, wrapper will grab in our case, we have 30 selected here. It will grab 30 vertices around the vertice that is processed at that point, And it will smooth them by this value, right? This is the smooth strength for the non-rigid uh, non algorithm. So I think this is uh, the most, uh, uh, these are the most important settings. You can also, um, use scaling. This, uh, will attempt to uh, scale the target to the source as much as possible by holding the proportions so this is uh, also very useful in some cases uh, yeah the, I think this is it uh, I think I covered a lot of uh, the options here don't forget to don't forget to get in touch me, with me if you have any questions this is just an overview of Mesh Morpher I'm not making a tutorial just uh, explaining a little bit the options so it's it will be easy for you to to get into it right so have fun and uh, see you around bye